Oops. Oh, they are broken. Hmm, I have another pair at home. We need to go back to get it. Okay, let's go. Here they are. Thank God, I can see clearly now. Very good. Can you tell me why you need glasses and I don't need them? Hmm. Give me that ball and a few sketch pens. Let me show you something. Here they are. Let me draw something on this ball. Wow, it looks like an eye. Correct. Our eyes have eyeballs like these. To understand why few people wear glasses, we first need to know more about the eyes. Okay. On the front of the eyes, we have two major parts, the cornea and the lens. On the back, there is another part that is called the retina. The lens and the cornea work together so that the light rays from outside objects can come inside and focus on the retina. The retina is the place where we have the cells that can detect light. What would happen if the light is not focused on the retina? This is a very good question. Let's see when light rays get focused in front of the retina. These people are called myopic. They can see nearby objects clearly, but are not able to see distant objects. They are also called short-sighted. Hmm, one of my friends can read books very easily, but he is not able to see the basketball net which is far away. Oh, it seems that your friend is short-sighted. Oh, that's why he always sits in the front. It seems that he is not able to see the blackboard from the benches at the back. You should tell your friend to go to an optician. He should get his eyes tested. I will. Okay, now let's see what happens when outside light is focused behind the retina. These people are called hyperopic. Hyperopic means long-sighted? Yes, these people are able to see things that are far away very well, but they can't see nearby things. You also wear glasses. Are you short-sighted or long-sighted? I am long-sighted. I can see the sky very clearly, but I can't read a book without my glasses. Hmm, I don't wear glasses, but I can see all things clearly. That means your vision is perfect. Most vision problems occur because the eyeball is either too long or too short. So our eyesight depends upon the shape of our eyeball? Yes. Consider this as an eyeball. If we press it in this way, it becomes too long. And if we press it from the other side, it becomes too short. Hmm, so all the people don't have perfectly round eyeballs? Correct. Some of us have shorter eyeballs, and few have longer eyeballs. What happens if your eyeballs are too elongated? That means light rays get focused in front of your retina. You can see things up close, but struggle with things in the distance. Hmm, and if your eyeball is too short? The light rays get focused behind the retina, and the person is said to be long-sighted. He can read that sign halfway down the street, but has trouble reading what's right in front of him. Thanks to you that I now know a lot about the eyes, but I'm still confused why people wear glasses. Hmm. See, glasses help these people to watch things clearly. But how? Look at my glasses. These are made up of lenses. Lenses? Yeah, these are corrective lenses. These are designed to help your eyes to focus light rays properly onto your retina. So even if eyeball size is small or long, light can still be focused on the retina. Yes. There are two main types of lenses, concave and convex. Hmm, concave and convex lenses. They have different shapes. You are right. The curvature of the lens bends the light rays as they approach your eye. This helps the rays focus on your retina instead of behind or in front of it. 
Which lens you require if you are short-sighted? If someone can't see distant objects clearly, that means he has longer eyeballs and light rays are focused in front of the retina. If he starts using concave lenses, then light rays would be focused on the retina itself. Hmm, so with the help of concave lenses, he even watched distant objects. Now let's talk about the people who can't see nearby things very clearly. This usually happens if someone's eyeballs are smaller, and light rays get focused behind the retina. But if he starts using concave glasses, then light rays start falling on the retina, and he can see the nearby things very clearly. Yes, and do you know some spectacles have both the lenses? Oh, why? <laughs> that is a different topic. We would talk about it on some other day. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to like the video and leave a comment down below of what video you want next.